We're going to have calf food at the corner of Moreland and Midland. Robert Masiri is on the move. On this day, he and his team from Guardians of Rescue are in Staten Island trying to find, feed, and save pets lost or abandoned during Superstorm Sandy. We're going to leave you kitty litter. We're going to leave you dog food and cat food. Robert's team has rescued 100 cats so far. He says residents underestimated the amount of water the storm would bring, so pets either drowned or ran far from home to escape the rushing water. Of those found... Many of them are suffering from stress to start. Some of the cats had blood in the urine, some of them had internal injuries, some of them had um, uh, exterior wounds. We found several cats with seawater in their lungs. It's a big job, which is why Robert called on his friend Hush, a hip-hop artist from Detroit. Hush is a rapper, but he's also an animal lover, who has helped animal rescue efforts in his hometown. Hush's contacts in Detroit donated nearly 8,000 pounds of dog and cat food. Then he drove 12 hours through the night to New York to help Robert's group. What worries you most about the pets that are probably out there? Being displaced, you know, and just being out of their element, they're probably freaking out. Hush and the volunteers went door to door looking for pets that may have been left behind. Okay, come on, we got plenty of food. Let's and dropping off food and supplies. Thank you very much. You. Uh, that ain't dogs are going to be very happy to. Along the way, they picked up whatever pets they could find. And we're going to put them in this carrier. That's good. good okay. Good. I'm so it's all right, baby. It's okay. This house is typical of this Midland Beach area of Staten Island. You can see the big red sticker here on the front door. It says unsafe area. So clearly somebody came by to check the home. They found it to be unsafe, but whoever that was probably wasn't looking for cats or dogs. They were looking for humans and to check on the condition of the home. But when we pulled up, we did find a, a group of four cats eating from this cat food here. So obviously somebody left this behind for the cats. Uh, the question is, though, how long will they be able to survive on this food? And will somebody be able to save them before this food runs out? Robert marks the house so they know to come back for the cats. If they find them, they'll try to catch them. Otherwise, they'll set humane traps to save them. They can't talk. You know, they can't say, hey, you know, my owner left me behind. Or, hey, I'm stuck. I, I, have, nowhere, I have nowhere to go. I, I, I need food. Like this cat, who was hungry and alone. We were finally able to coax her out of an abandoned house. She's starving. She's eating so fast. Eventually, she was put in a cage. All right, all right, all right. She'll be held in foster care until the owner can move home again, or she'll be put up for adoption. After a terrible storm that took so much from so many, a reason to be thankful. Randy Kay, CNN, Staten Island.